What's going on YouTube? Nintendo64 coming at you. It's a very busy time of year for making videos for me because I got a bunch of holidays coming up as we know. Thanksgiving, Christmas and all that. And I got a vacation coming up. I'm really, I'm really excited. I got Disneyland coming up. Super excited for that. Um, I'm not, I don't have a lot of time to make videos right now and I'm, this, this is going to be very scattered. I won't have a schedule or anything but this is a weekend where I literally don't have anything planned so let's just get right on to the, into it. So the topic for this video is going to be the Ice Blue Nintendo 64. This is the North American release only. This is not going to be for any other reason. This is just for North American only. So before I get into the video, if you like Nintendo 64 stuff, just hit that like button. You know, let me down in the comments below. What do you think about this console? What are your feelings about it? Do you like it? Do you think it's ugly? Whatever that is. And if you're looking forward to more videos about N64 stuff, you know, just subscribe. If, as if, if you want to see more videos that are done by me, even though it's not very high quality or anything like that, I just make this for collectors and gamers out there that are just curious as, you know, how much does this stuff cost, really? But moving on, moving on away from all that business stuff, just get right into the fun stuff here. So as far as rarity goes for this console, it's not very rare. It's maybe slightly more rare than the charcoal gray, which I have stacked back there, or the Jungle Green boxed N64 back there in the loose console, which I might leave a link down below to that video if you're interested, or I might tag it somewhere, anywhere, but may maybe, I don't know. Let's see if I have good technical skills, but this one is not that rare as far as consoles go for the N64. This is pretty common. You'll find this a lot on eBay, Amazon, all that. You may even find it in the wild once in a while. But if you're looking to just get the loose console, which for sake of argument, I'm guessing you're buying it to play, so you want to get the power adapter, the AV cords, preferably the uh, authentic Nintendo ones. Then we've got the console over there, then we've got the controller over there. If you want to get all that, you're looking anywhere between $100 to $200. I would recommend not trying to spend $200 if you can. That's a little bit too much, and I think that's scalping in my opinion. So shoot between 100 to 125 It's probably the good. If you're shooting anywhere underneath that or in between it, you're doing very well. And then obviously condition is going to affect what's going on. So is the joystick tight? Is it loose? You know, is it got the console got a bunch of scratches on it? Is the power adapters, AV cords dirty or having trouble connecting? Anything like that? And then obviously if it's bundled with the expansion pack, that's going to affect it as well. As far as the complete in box copy, it's going to be a lot more expensive. It's just going to be roughly for a lot of the N64s, $200 and up. Really, and then obviously condition on the price, you know, mine's not the best condition, but it is in relatively good condition. It, the box holds up, it doesn't fall down or anything, break down. But price will have, but price will be affected by what condition it is, and then obviously if you're looking for a different region, or if you're in a different region, it might be more, might be less. Just all, can, all depends. I try to get at least the North Americans, because it's really hard to find the other regions. But if you're looking for the other regions, I actually seen a couple of prices on the other regions. And if there's any guys in Europe, gamers, collectors in Europe watching this, if you want to get the PAL one, which is a little bit different than this box variation, you're looking between around the same price. So, since my battery life on my camera dies within five minutes, I'm just going to have to make a quick short video on it and this is going to go into my casual gamer chats uh, playlist so if you want to go there watch my other videos you you can but just to wrap it up really quick controller loose console power adapter and AV cords 100 to 200 preferably 100 to 125 box console 200 and up shoot between 200 and 300 if you can and I'm going to try and make some more videos, and I'm going to try to make a collection video real soon for October, a collection update. Well, actually, September, more or less. Get a collection update for September 2017. This is Nintendo 64 Corner. Like, subscribe if you like Nintendo 64. And this is me. I'll keep my name anonymous for now. Signing out. Take care, guys. You have a good weekend.